when you look at a problem like this, what I want you to ask yourself is what is it you can do? And the one thing I want to, hopefully we can all agree upon, is I can take the square root of nine, that's gonna be a three. Now the square root of eight, that's gonna be a two, square root of two, right? Because again, just remember, you know, square root of eight can be written as a four times two, square root of two here, it's just gonna be a two, and then radical two, right? We can simplify that square root and we can simplify nine. But now we kind of come to a problem, right? Because we have the square root of three minus two radical two. Like, I can't do that. But so then we gotta think about, we're like, so what is it we can do? Well, we know we can take the square root of a square number, right? Square root of a squared is just gonna be a. What else can we take the square root of? Well, we can take the square root of really anything that's squared if it is all by itself or separated by multiplication. Like in this case, see how we separate this by multiplication? Then I can take the square root of four, right? But what I can also do like a, an expression. I can do a minus b quantity squared, right? So again, I can take the square root of that. That's just going to be an a minus b. So that gets me thinking. Can I rewrite this as something squared? What is the process for writing something squared? Well, I can't rewrite this something squared, at least in this form that I have right here. So what I wanna do is be able to say, well, what is the process of writing something squared? The process of writing something squared is some, what we call factoring. So how do I go and get this to be something factorable, right? They don't have like a greatest common factor. What I need to do is I need to rewrite this. So it goes to my thinking, if I want it to be looking like this, then what does this look like when it's in its expanded form? And you say, okay, so a squared minus two ab plus b squared. That is the expansion here of what we call a binomial squared. And so then I look at this and I look at that and I say, all right, that doesn't look anything like each other. This has three terms, that has two terms, this has a whole bunch of letters, this is only numbers. So what can I do? But then I stop and I look at myself and say, hey, you know what? I see a negative two, right? So you're like, oh, okay, well, hey, I'll take the negative two. And then you can say, well, what about we have a is the square root of two, right? And then what could b be? Now, in this case, I would say, well, we don't have a b, but if you could say like, let's say b does exist there, then why don't we let b represent, rather than a one, why don't we let b represent a square root of one? Okay, again, you could do it as a one. It doesn't really matter technically in this case, but I wanna keep, kind of keep the square roots the same for simplicity purposes. So therefore, if a is equal to a square root of two, and b is equal to the square root of one, therefore a squared equals two, and b squared is equal to a one. Now, we're still kind of stuck here, because again, this is not in that format, right? I need an a squared plus a b squared. So you might be thinking, well, I have a three here. How can I get a two and a one from a three? Now, thankfully here, this is the form. You see, these two terms are separated by subtraction. So therefore, what I can actually do in this example is I can actually rewrite my three as a two plus one. See, because remember, since we're not doing multiplication, distributive property here is not going to apply. So I can simply just go ahead and rewrite it in that case. Now, what I want you to see is like, well, here, oh, I'm sorry, let's go ahead and actually rewrite this as a one, two. Right, so we have our two AB, right? That's the same thing as negative two squared of two times square root of one. I have my two and my one. My two is my A squared and my B is my one squared. Now this is in the format I want it. I actually want to rewrite it like this. Now what I want you to recognize, this is A squared minus two AB plus B squared. That means I can now factor this down into an A minus B. Quantity squared. And now, if I have something quant the square root of something quantity squared, I can now simplify that to just my a minus b, and now I can take the square root of one, which is just going to be a one. Now, if you want more tips or problems like the problem I just solved here, then check out the next video I have for you here.